Hi friends, welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about events in JavaScript. So I sincerely request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is an event. The change in the state of an object is known as an event. You have an object. If you are changing the state of an object, then I can say it is an event. Let me give a simple example for it. You have a button. Now you are clicking that button meaning is that you are changing the state of that button then I can say it is an event similarly you have a button you are double clicking that but on that button then again you are changing the state of the button then again I can say it is an event similarly let's take that you have a text box you are entering some data in it meaning is that let's take that you are entering Parnika then you are pressing the key P A R N I K A. So each button you are pressing that is also an event. So whenever you are changing the state of an object, then I can say it is an event. In HTML, there are various events which represents that some activity is performed by the user or the browser. Let's take that you have a button you are double clicking it who is double clicking on it user is double clicking on it so you are performing some activity similarly you have a browser window now you are loading that one who is doing it the browser is doing it means you are performing the task on the browser similarly you are resizing the browser so some activities can be performed by the user or by the browser such activities i can call it as an event when javascript code is included in html javascript reacts over these events and allow the execution so in html you can perform various events these events can be performed with the help of the javascript the process of reacting over the events is called as event handling so you are reacting over an event such concept is called as event handling so in this video i'm discussing about the event handling where you are handling various events like you have various events on mouse on the keyword on the form on the window all these events we will handle so we can say that we are actually discussing about the event handling in javascript the events are broadly classified into four types one is mouse events keyboard events form events window or document events now let me discuss about the mouse events any events you are performing with respect to the mouse such events i will call them as mouse events we have various mouse events like on click on double click on mouse over on mouse out on mouse move let me discuss all these mouse events in detail first let me discuss about the on click event when a mouse click on an element then this event will occur so as i said earlier event is what the change in the state of an object is known as an event so whenever you are performing the mouse click which is one of the event similarly whenever you are performing the double click that is also one event similarly Similarly, whenever you are moving the mouse on a particular element, then that event is called as on mouse over event. Whenever you are coming out from that element, let's consider that I am moving my mouse on the mouse over, then I can say it is a mouse over. When I am moving my mouse from the text, then I can say that on mouse out event similarly i am moving my mouse right that is also one event called as on mouse move event now all these things we'll discuss practically with an example so that it will be clear for you let me go to the javascript code and then i will define a function how to define a function you need to use the keyword called function and then you need to provide the function name now you need to provide the statements which are need to be executed while you are calling the function let me write window dot alert i want to simply display welcome to pernika tutorials you know that if you call that function then only the statements which are there in the function definition will be executed if you want to verify let me call this function so this is 
function calling and this is function definition if i save this program and then if i open this conditional statements.html with the google chrome then you can see we got the output as welcome to pernica tutorials so now what i'm doing i'm calling the function now instead of calling this function directly in the body tag i will create one button whenever i'm clicking that button then i should call this function called f to do that one in the body tag i'll create a button so i will provide input type is equal to button and then i need to provide on click as i said earlier we have on click event and then when i'm clicking that event i need to call the function called f and then i need to provide the name for that button right i will provide the value is equal to click me so i am giving the name for that button as click me now let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it we have a button called click me whenever i'm clicking on this button look at here i'm clicking single click then you can see that the function has been called and the statements which are there in that function definition has been executed we have provided as window dot alert inside that one we have provided the message as welcome to pernica tutorial so we got the output as welcome to pernica tutorial so this is an example for on click event similarly we have on on double click so I can provide it as on DBL link which is on double click now whenever the user double clicks on this button called click me then only the function F will be called and the statements which are there in the function F definition will be executed if you want to verify let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it now I'm double clicking on it once I double click on it then on DBL click event has been occurred and the statements which are there in the function definition has been executed you got the output as welcome to Pernica tutorials now let me discuss about on mouse over on mouse out and on mouse move so here here I will provide on mouse over now you can observe whenever I am moving the mouse on that particular element then only the function F will be called if you want to observe let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it now the mouse is here right whenever I am moving the mouse on this event look at here then welcome to Pernica tutorials output you got similarly I have on mouse out let me provide on mouse out whenever I am moving out from that element then only the function f should be called now let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it now I am here now the mouse is on click me button now you have not given any event called on mouse over that's why you are not getting the output whenever i am coming out from that click me button you can see i have came out then on mouse out event has occurred that's why you got the output as welcome to pernica tutorial similarly we have on mouse move whenever i am moving the mouse that is also one event now let me save this program and let me go to the browser and if you can observe whenever I am moving my cursor or the mouse on that particular element then only you are getting that output welcome to Pernica tutorial so when the mouse movement takes place then on mouse move event will occur so on mouse events you have on click on dbl click on mouse over on mouse out on mouse move now let me discuss about the keyboard events in keyboard events you have three events such as on key down on key up on key press now let me discuss about on key down event whenever you are pressing any key let's take that you want to type p then you have to press the p button right then whenever you are pressing on key down event will occur when you are releasing that key then on key up event will occur whenever you are 
pressing and releasing the key then on key press event will occur so on key press event is a combination of key down and key up let me discuss these concepts practically with an example so that it will be clear for you whenever i want to press anything i need to give a text box right so what i will do in the body i will create one text box so input type is equal to text i will provide and then here i will write on key down is an event then i have to call the function called f now let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it you have a text box right inside the text box if i am pressing the key see i am pressing the key called p then you got the event called on key down event so you got welcome to pernika tutorial let me again refresh it look at here i am on the text box so on focus you are doing see when i am coming out you have light black color when i am on the particular text box you can see the cursor is there in the text box and then if i am pressing any key let's say that i am pressing p then on key down event has occurred so you got welcome to pernika tutorials in place of on key down let me give the event name as on key up let me save this one and go to the browser and let me refresh it now the cursor is in the text box if i press and release anything now you can see p has occurred so on key up i have pressed and released so release means what on key up whenever on key up event occurs you are calling the function called f the statements which are there in the function definition will be executed so you got the output as welcome to pernika tutorials in place of on key up let me give on key press as i said earlier on key press event is a combination of on key down and on key up so you are pressing and releasing the key then this event will occur now i am in the text box i am typing p see i am pressing and releasing the key so that's why you got welcome to pernika tutorials so this is about the keyboard events now let me discuss about the form events in form events you have on focus on blur on change on focus means whenever the user focus on an element look at here i am not on the focus of that element you have here text element right now i am not on the focus if i am clicking on it i am on the focus whenever the user focus on an element then on focus event will occur whenever i am coming out from that element now look at here i am not on the focus of that element or i can say my focus is away from that element then i can say on blur event similarly let's take that you have some check box you are changing the content then i can say on change event will occur let's take that you have clicked that check box that is you are changing it earlier it is not clicked now you are changing it then i can say on change event will occur now let me discuss this one practically with an example so that it will be clear for you now what i will do in place of on key press i will give on focus and in place of welcome to pernika tutorials i will write your focus is high simply i will write now let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it now i am not on the focus of this text element right now whenever my focus on this text element now you can see on focus event has occurred so you are calling the function f and the statements which are there in the function f has been executed so you got the output as your focus is high similarly whenever my focus is out then on blur event will occur now in place of on focus here i will provide on blur so on blur event will occur when the focus is away from a form element look at this example let me save this program and refresh it now look at here my focus is on this 
text element right whenever my focus is away from this text element then on blur event will occur look at here i'm coming out so now my focus is not there on the text one you you can see your focus is high so on blur event has occurred similarly let me create one checkbox and i will change the content in the checkbox then on change event will occur now in place of input type is equal to text i will provide here as checkbox and then i will give select me is the name of the checkbox and here on change whenever i'm changing the content in the checkbox then only the function f should be called let me save this program and let me go to the browser and let me refresh it now you have one checkbox called select me now i'm changing the content now it is not clicked it if i'm clicking on it i'm changing the content right so on change event has occurred so you got the output as your focus is high now you have a doubt sir change has not occurred now you can see whenever i'm clicking ok on the window then you can see a change has occurred similarly let's take that i will unclick on this one then your focus is high you want to see the change right let me click on this one see it has been unclicked so whenever you are changing anything then on change event will occur now let me discuss about the window or document events in window or document events you have on load on resize events let me discuss about the both the events so whenever you are loading any browser then on load event will occur similarly whenever you are changing the size of the window then on resize event will occur let me discuss these two events practically with an example so that it will be clear for you let me go to the notepad plus plus in the body i will provide on load whenever the user loads it then i need to call the function f let me remove the content which is there in the body now let me save this program go to the browser and let me refresh it so i'm loading the content whenever i'm loading it then on load event will occur so you are getting the output as your focus is high similarly i can provide on resize event whenever i'm changing the size of the window or the document then on resize event will occur if you want to observe let me refresh it if i refresh you will not get any output whenever i am changing the size of this one then you can see on resize event has been occurred then you are getting the output as your focus is high so like this we have mouse events keyboard events form events window or document events i hope you have understood about all the events in the javascript if you still have any doubts related to any concept you can ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day